Welcome back to the Sarah Brown Hour of Power. She's rocking route right now inside of our lovely uh, battle wagon. And I found out that apparently if you set your vehicle control and you go to the turret targeting modes and set it to auto. Now, I thought this was supposed to be a turret that can only work if you're inside of it. However, I discovered when rolling around town with this thing on that it will actually attack any enemies that get in range, which is so freaking awesome. Uh, so that was exciting to find out. Uh, what I'm going to do right now is head back to the west, and I will come back with you once we're a little bit closer to Knox County, or just Knox. Oh, hey, are there any... <gasps> Ooh, there's deer! Where's the deer? I need meat. Okay. <sighs> do we want to hunt with our vehicle, or do we want to hunt the old-fashioned way? I'm afraid to even use the, uh, the, the vehicle turret, because I'm pretty sure it would just absolutely shred yawn deer. So, let's do this. Let's stop driving. I need to go and get my... I think we have um, somewhere. Why is my menu all sorts of stuck? Where? Where? I think we're, it's a, uh, yeah, there it is. Bow sling with long bow. I also think we have a quiver somewhere in here, although I don't know if we have, I don't think we have any arrows, but somewhere along the way I picked up a bunch of arrows, I think from a corpse. Uh, there we go. So let's grab our arrows and can only hold eight. That's fine. We'll just do this. Uh, where we are wearing the quiver, right? Can't we just um, apply said quiver? There we go. Store some broadhead arrows. I think that should be fine. Let's go ahead and activate the bow sling. You know what? I need to drop a bunch of stuff off. We'll drop all this stuff off, and then I'll activate the bow sling. Cool. All right. Let's see if we can go hunting a bit. Where? Oh god. Where'd the deer go? It took me so long to find it. There are a bunch of uh, speeders around here. Where did the deer go? Uh, Mr. Deer is way to the north. Okay, cool. Let's see if we can get close to it. I don't know how skittish it is. Oh god, it's super skittish. Ah, Can we... Do we have to do some long-range, like, long gun hunting here? Let me grab my SIG. This, I'm, I'm a little afraid it's just gonna destroy it. But it is what it is. We'll grab the SIG. I think it actually has rounds in it. And you know what? I'm gonna grab my all pike just in case the, uh, jumping spiders... Is it still in my inventory? It is. Just in case the jumping spiders decide to visit. So maybe I need to... Let's crouch for a minute. We'll pretend we're an actual hunter, right? So the deer is up there to the northeast. There is a river, I think, blocking the way. So I'll treat this like I do in uh, some of my other games. I'll just kind of get it against the river. I think it's going to be trapped there. Hello, my friend. Terribly sorry about your current predicament. I also hope it doesn't, like, drown in the river when it dies. But I don't think... I think it's going to consider be considered shallow. Cool. Uh, let's grab the corpse. Bring all this stuff in. I will uh, grab the arrows again. Right, so I'm going to sprint back to the car and bring the car to the deer as opposed to trying to do anything else. So, I'll be right back. Apparently, we have a lot of trouble getting over these bushes. I was unable to really build up any speed. So, uh, yeah, off-road, this vehicle does not handle too well. Okay, so we are here. Now, if I remember right, the full butchery thing... I need my fancy knife. I never did finish the knife I started, I think, last episode on accident. But we should be able to grab a little knife somewhere. Uh, there we go. In progress. Butcher knife. Pocket. I think this, the combat knife is the best one we have for butchering right now. So a full butchery takes what? Butchering rack. Can we make a foldable butchering rack? Is that going to be an option? Is it an option in a vehicle at all? I'm not entirely sure if that's even going to be it. Let's go ahead and do the... Uh, let's see. Field dressing is only when you want to prevent it from getting going bad, right? Properly butcher a corpse, rope in a tree, or a butchering rack, a flat surface, and good tools. Um, how heavy is this dude right here? He is 224 pounds. He takes up only a small amount of volume. Let's see if we can shove this in the back of our car. And then maybe take it over to a tree. We should have some rope here. Right, so Mr. Deer is inside of our... Um, our uh, vehicle. We're going to see if we can get him up to a tree and do a little bit of butchery. Okay, bruised deer corpse. We've got that. I think we also needed a little bit of rope. So let me grab rope real quick. All around me to inventory rope. I don't know if we need long rope or short rope. We'll grab one of each. Okay, so B, full butchery. Uh, we need a table or, or something else with a flat surface to perform the butchery. I thought it just says... We needed a tree, right? A rope in a tree or a butchering rack. A rope in a tree. I'm confused a bit. What do we... Um... 
something else with a flat surface. Can I just make a table real quick? Hmm. Alright, let me try to find out if I can even make anything right now. Alright, I guess I'm just confused about what we need to do this with. So I'm going to try to just do a quick butchery instead so we can actually get the items and uh, make use of it. And we'll see how much we're able to get from Captain Deer McPants here. Alright, dude, so we'll transfer... Uh, we don't want to keep... I don't think we can use the refuse at all, right? I don't believe so. Rawhide, sinew, and how much uh, meat did we get? Scrap of meat. Ten chunks of meat is pretty decent. So I'll do the... Um, I don't actually really need to do anything other than start cooking. So, by the way, what do we do with... Um, what do we do with the skin? Let's see. Let's look at hide. We can make cured hide. Okay, so that's what we're going to do last. Let's go ahead and do the foodstuffs first. Primarily, I'm going to try to get the... Uh, let's see. Raw sausage is going to take make use of the... Salt, lard, and chunk of meat. But that's not going to last quite as long as dehydrating meat. So we'll do all the dehydrated meat first, and then we'll go from there. Cool, so we got ourselves another bit of uh, dehydrated meat. So we actually have a lot now. We're getting, uh, let's see, dehydrated, two sections of dehydrated meat. Both of them are going to last over two seasons long, I think. It's this one right here. We also have some stuff like lard. That's going to last a long time. Um, so our day-to-day -day food is mostly going to be the stuff that we get, like the scraps of meat, the cracklins, the things like that. I would love to get some veggies down the road too. So somehow I'm going to work, have to work into getting vegetables into my vehicle. I don't know. I mean, we could try to plan a farm and then come back to it later on in the season. I just don't know how long it takes. I I'm assuming the growing time is, is pretty normal. Uh, so that could be a thing. Holy crap. The chunk of fat is night is is almost two thousand calories. That is insane. We're gonna probably turn that into cracklins, uh, because that's what we we have available to us, right? Yeah. So that's gonna use up one chunk of fat and give us a crap ton of cracklins. So we'll do that because cracklins are tasty. Actually, I hate them so much, but <laughs> that's fine. Sarah can enjoy them all she wants. Okay, so all the food's taken care of. I think we've got um some raw hide. I forgot that we had raw hide beforehand. So let's take care of the hide. We can turn this into cured hide. Which will wind up being just hide that's good forever, right? Yeah, it doesn't go bad. So uh, let's go ahead and do 56 minutes versus 30. What's the difference in these two? It's just a different manner of doing it. We would use saline or salt water and then raw hide. Here we just use the hot plate. So we'll use that. Uh, really, is that, we can only use... Oh, you have to use it 50 at a time. Let me look at that again. Was there another recipe that used less? This one uses... Yeah, 50 at a time, too. So we can only do cured hide once every 50 charges of hide. Fair enough. Good to know. We should be fine tonight, though. I'm going to have her eat, and then we'll get back on the road heading west. I'm not sure why I had so much trouble before, but I just installed a security camera on the side of the vehicle, and it wound up coming up just fine. So I could... It looks like there's one blind spot, and I'm kind of curious if I move that over by just, like, one notch to the south here so let's do remove and then install one here to the south if that's going to cover that blind spot or not interesting is it just going to always be that same blind spot to be fair i did put some random uh tanks on the, the back end here that we're not really using right now but that's okay we can pretty much see everything we need to anyway so i'll get another camera somewhere down the road we'll find another military vehicle or something and i will uh plunder the cameras from that put it on our vehicle and continue to upgrade our lovely lovely what are we going to call this by the way the lovely something i need like a name is this like uh the sarah oh god <laughs> there we go um the uh oh crap i ran right into it i wasn't even paying attention uh the sarah vehicle of death or what wow we didn't take any damage from that Okay, so the steel plating took a pretty be nasty beating. Never mind. Disregard. But it did its job, though. It protected everything underneath it. So I will go back and repair that and uh, apologize to that piece. Ooh, was that another bandit thing over there? Hello, what are you? I think that's another bandit dozer or what have you. Did I just did not even see a zombie? Oh, the laser cannon shot the zombie. I did. Okay, here's a bunch of zombies. Let's test this out. I didn't even get a chance to show you. Yeah, here's what I'm talking about. We're just going near the zombies. Again, I'm not doing anything but driving and this thing is just look at this this is insane we're also still at 99 percent battery and i mean every tile we go through it's getting some kills in this is beyond anything i could ever dream of i'm so excited about this turret 
and we're okay. It's only 96% battery. And remember, we have so many upgraded solar panels that we're pretty much getting this uh, cleaned up every time we take a turn. So, yeah, this is my first time ever having this type of uh, weapon on our vehicle, and I am <laughs> insanely excited about it. Holy crap. Is there any meat we can use from this? It's all tainted, isn't it? Chunk of tainted meat. Sad, sad day. But you know what? That's okay. Because it worked out in the end and we were able to murder pretty much everything in town. But yeah, there you go. Get yourself a laser cannon turret and you're never going to be a sad human again. Right, so let's go check out whatever the heck this is. This looks like another dozer thing. You know what I'd like to test? I'd like to see. Let's do this. Let's let go of the controls. Oh god, are we shooting ourselves or the other vehicle? Okay, it's shooting the other vehicle. We're not damaging our vehicle. Now, in theory, there should be a safety mechanism right now that's not going to fire if I'm in the way of the shot. So is this going to work or not? It's not working right now. But as soon as I got near it, it's starting to work. So maybe it's it's considering you to be the... the uh, I guess the automated portion of the turret, or I'm not really sure. All right, Bandit Bulldozer, here's another one of these. And I think that has, and sure enough, it does have a manual flamethrower. We're going to need a, um, a hacksaw here. Oh, we're about to get upgraded. This is so cool. <laughs> uh, I feel like all of our, our troubles and, uh, you know, challenges and trials we faced have all led up to this day where we're upgrading our vehicle with a freaking flamethrower. Let's also grab the turret mount before I forget that. And oh, happy day. We need anything else from here? V6 engine? There's a bunch of spiked rams on here, which I don't really want to use. 50 inch steel treads? What in the world? That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Uh, it doesn't have much in terms of gasoline. It's got like 6.8 liters. We have a ton of gasoline right now. So we are rocking the gasoline, which is in fact, I believe, what this uses. So we should be able to use the flamethrower wherever. I don't know, should we put the flamethrower in the center of the vehicle? I don't really know how it works. Let's try to put this right in front of our seat, so to speak. Uh, let's do the... Hello? Does it have to have nothing on the roof? What does our other thing up here have? Didn't have anything on the roof. Maybe that's part of the problem. Let's put it next to the, the weapon then. Hmm. What am I missing? Oh, we don't have our... Um, why don't we have our charger? It should actually be... I bet I'm not standing next to it. That was probably why. Let's try this again. Oh my gosh. I'm so I'm so dumb. I literally took it off the vehicle. I didn't move with it over to the vehicle itself. Good night. <sighs> I need a nap or something. Okay, so here and then that's not going to work out because we need all the stuff inside. Oh my goodness. I'll get it eventually. There we go. So I my welder was out. That's why I had that problem. Maybe we will do a, a vehicle-mounted welder. That might be kind of nice because that way we never have to mount uh, mess with anything again. Um, Zombie was trying to move into us, but I think, yeah, that took care of that. And again, we were just inside the vehicle. We weren't necessarily next to the cannon, which is kind of interesting. So, what? We have a minigun? Are you kidding me? That is awesome. We have a minigun somewhere, apparently. An M240, we have a Mark 19. I don't even know what an RM614 is, but where is my... There we go. Manual flamethrower. That is what we're hoping for. Excellent. Okay, so is there anything else next to us? No. The question is... <laughs> how's this going to look, and how far off can we shoot this at? The ra it only has a range of 8. So we got to be a little bit careful when we're shooting out. And you know what? We can't see anything anyways. Okay, let's move this from this position up to the front of the vehicle. I'm going to put this right next to the other turret so that it's right there at the front and we're going to be able to see everything. We're a little bit hungry. Let's go ahead and eat some of the stuff that's going bad, which is going to be, what's first? Um, cracklins, I think. Things that are, things are going to go bad here in a couple days is what we want to eat. Okay, so remove the turret mount now. That should be taken care of. Now we can install it, I think, right up here. Turret mount. I like that we have so many choices <laughs> of weapons right now. We're pretty much able to grab whatever the hell we want. We have between all the other AR-15, Mark 19. This is so crazy. All right, there he goes. Oh, hang on. I saw two things there. 
There was a flamethrower turret, then there was a manual flamethrower. Let's look at this again. Install. So what's the difference here? Flamethrower turret is an automatic weapon. Okay, if you set it to fire automatically. Yeah, that's, I think, what we want to do then. Automatic flamethrower. I don't think I'm going to have that on because I don't want to run through my gasoline like crazy. But if we ever need to absolutely uh, burn something down, then yeah, we're going to try that out. Let me do a bit of repairs, and I think we're going to be ready to go back into uh, the road and head towards the uh, the Great South. Oh wow, this is fascinating. It doesn't act like a... What would you call that? It doesn't act as though it was a full line of gasoline. It acts like a bullet of gasoline. That's so crazy. <laughs> this is going to get me in trouble. All right. We're going to get out of town here, folks. Hey, here we go. There is a vehicle coming up here with a ram on it. So I think this might be a good point for me to take a quick pause. We are going south towards Knox. So it's pretty much just a long run south to Knox, which will be really nice. So we're not in a huge, huge rush. Let's go ahead and let go of the controls. We'll leave the vehicle running. I love that it doesn't seem like we're using a ton of gas right now, the, the ton of diesel. So I'm hoping that we're going to be, you know, between vehicles like this, we'll be able to keep finding, uh, you know, random things here and there. Can I siphon from one step away, or do we have to be a directly adjacent? Let me grab my thing, whatever you would call that. Also, I'm probably going to need a couple things here. So uh, we've got the welder, although the welder is going to need to be recharged. So let's recharge the welder ahead of time. That's my headlamp, but that's fine. Recharge the welder. And while I'm thinking about it, let me go ahead and just dump a bunch of these bad boys into the recharger itself. Uh, let's grab hacksaw we have, right? To remove stuff, I think you pretty much just need the hacksaw. So we're going to remove... What was over here? Anything? No. We're going to remove the front. It's just a heavy-duty frame. What do we need to actually put a, a thing on the front here? We wanted to do like a... First, it has to be a frame, I think. Or is it just the ram? Military composite ram just needs military composite plating. Okay, so it's just a reinforced ram. Place at the edge of the vehicle to reduce damage taken. Let's go ahead and do that. We'll use the um, the the plating from this vehicle, and we'll just make it into a ram for our other vehicle. Okay, so there we go. We've got a bunch of military composite pieces. It doesn't look as pretty as I was hoping, but you know what? I think I'll survive somehow. Uh, some of these need to be repaired, though, so I'll take care of that. And then... Hey, if you've got a welding rig inside your vehicle, do you just never need to recharge anything? That could be kind of cool. Uh, nothing needs to be repaired on our vehicle. We'll try this out, and we'll come back and get, you know, for another vehicle down the road if we decide we need something else. So it's like heavy-duty frame. And then the ram? Would that just give you two extra pieces? I don't think the frame protects you, though. Yeah, because I'm walking on the frame right now, so the ram would make sense. All right, onward and upward we go, or more like southward. Oh, my God. <laughs> the battle wagon knows no fungaloid and fears no fungaloid. Side note, while this is happening, I want to let go of the controls. Step over here. Can I just start some fires? <laughs> that makes me so, so very happy. Okay, fair enough. Uh, we're not going to probably stay wrong long enough for that thing to burn away, but it's still super, uh, super satisfying. I am going through diesel at a pretty good clip, so my hope is that when we get down here to Knox... We are going to find some more diesel fuel, or if not, we're going to have to convert over to probably the V12 engine. If you look at it where we're at now, um, we're only able to go 88 miles an hour. That means that our, our top speed or our, our engine is not quite able to pull everything we have on us. So uh, we'll probably either need to get a, what do we have now, a V6 or a V8? A V6. If we can find a V8 diesel engine, that would probably be more than sufficient to carry and pull anything we would need. What's all over here? This is just a big vehicle dump, or a big dump in general? I don't really want to mess around with, with a bunch of uh, parts at a dump, so we'll just uh, fly on past here. Um, but yeah, so we're going to keep an eye out for the items that will um, hopefully give us more power. So whether that's a V8, whether it's going to... I would love to try the um, the special style of engine. The, the, what is that? The super, the super large electric engine, just to give that a shot. Where's our mechanics at? We're at 66% after all the repair work we've been doing, which is kind of cool. Um, right, so we're going to roll on. I think I'm just going to roll on through town, like kind of going at a, a slow clip, but we've got the battery. 
to maintain the the weapon fire. We also have our ram on here, which I'd love to start testing by you know rolling on through town and seeing how many enemies we slaughter. Oh my goodness, how how's this, uh, the ram doing? It took a little bit of damage, so it, it's not exactly invulnerable by any means, but it's uh, quite satisfying. So we're just gonna go through town. And <laughs> I love this game. I've been everything I've been doing. I didn't even know it has been leading up to this particular moment right here. Uh, so I'm trying to just unlock more of the map. We lo would love to stop by a library. Oh, that's a landfill. It's a sad day. We're just gonna roll on through town. I will occasionally look and make sure that there's our yeah our battery's doing fine. The other parts of the vehicle I wanted uh, to check too. So the sides of the vehicle, where we may be getting a couple glancing blows. That's our flamethrower turret. That's already been damaged, so that's fine. And then our military ram has just... It's mostly just bloody. It's barely even damaged. God, that's amazing. Possibly the most satisfying thing I've ever done in, in any video game. And it happens to be in a roguelike. Hey, is this a gun store? I do believe it is. I wonder if we can just straight up blow the damn door off the hinge. Let's try this out. This is... um. The, I think this is my... Yeah, I, that's my weapon I had in, in my hands. Let's let go of the controls. Let's fire the turret. Can I just blow open the thing? I have to do it a couple times. Just kidding. Maybe we won't be able to do this at all. What about the window instead? Hey, that's clear on through. Did it mess up the frame enough where we can get through it or not? I'll try it out. Let's. Uh, we, are let, we already have the vehicle let go, so let me go over here. And see if I can just go in. There's a Kevlar Hulk, Hulk somewhere. Where's the guy at? He's, I think he's down to the southwest. Is this him down here? Yeah. Oh my god. What a monstrosity. Yeah, we're going to shoot him down the road. You would love to. All right, let me try to get my, some of the equipment. I think we're going to need, uh, Hacksaw may not do it anymore. Let me try a Hacksaw. Someone said that the Hacksaw no longer will let you kind of um, cut through metal. Uh, car's windshield will ignore that unless they're really close to us. Are we still trying to work at this thing? Holy crap, this is going to take forever. There we go. So we are still able to do this. Apparently in the more recent builds of the game, that is not, that's not a thing you can do. So just keep that in mind if you are, uh, interested. I think we already have these repair kits, but I don't, I don't know if the repair kits ever go bad. Hey, here we go. Hand loader's helper. That should give us whatever we need. I think that's going to let us make any ammo that we ever want and need. I, I don't, I'm not quite entirely sure. But I believe that's the case. Some ammo behind the counter here. Lovely, lovely. This should have... If it's that type of building, it might have the stuff in the in the far back here. Uh, the gunsmithing room or what have you. Right here. Yep. Cool. So what do we got back here? We've got a bunch of tools, which we already kind of have, right? There's a welder. We have that. Uh, do we have... We do have a hand press and die set. And this thing, whatever that was. Primer is always good. Gunpowder is useful. Tons and tons of gunpowder. I think what we're going to wind up losing, or not having, is the actual casings themselves. But then again, I don't know if we're going to need too many guns anymore these days when we're rolling around with a uh, freaking laser turret on the top of our vehicle. So, you know, hey, it is what it is. I'm sure when we eventually go down to a bunker, all this stuff is going to come in handy. Uh, so which one was my... This should be my gun. Yeah, this is my gun thing. So let's drop pretty much everything in there. Then we'll do a little bit of organization. Awesome. Nice little gun store romp. So we've got a fitness gym, a dojo. Uh, what else is in here? An open sewer. A BB bus station. Hey, they got the bus stations in. Let's just cruise through town a bit more. I'd love to see how this does versus the Kevlar zombie. Oh, hey, he took two shots instead of just one. <laughs> that's great. Do you have anything on him that's special? Riot armor. I don't know if we need this compared to chainmail and stuff like that. Maybe the chainmail might be a little bit easier to... Um, or, sorry, the, the, the riot gear might be a little bit easier to move around in. Oh, my gosh. What's our battery looking like? Still 97%. I don't even know. What is life anymore? We need to find a gas station, though. Um, but before we do, there's a bookstore right in front of me. So the nerd in me is going to say, let's go to the bookstore and see what it's got. Other than a bunch of slaughtered enemies. See, it is still firing. So it doesn't need me anymore. I'm so sad. <laughs> it's given up on us. Yes, we'll take a second vibrator. Why not? Processor board. 
I don't think this is the bookstore, but that's okay. We'll grab some solder and things like that. Just the, 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 the items that are probably disposable. We will want a little bit more of copper wire would be great. As everything is dying around us. I have to be, this is probably part of the game where I have to be super careful that I don't get mega complacent. And I'm like, oh, everything's, you know, completely easy and we're never going to, uh, you know, be in fear of anything again. Because I'm sure there's something I could do that's super dumb that would get us killed. Like run, in fr like run in front of my own gunfire would be one of them. Pretty sure it's not going to shoot us, though, if, um, if we're in the line of fire. God, that's beautiful. It's a beautiful sight. All right, is this the bookstore? Yeah, okay. Are there any books that we really need? Probably the high end game uh, or the end game books, right? I don't know what Dianetics is. Is this a religious book? Can be understood. This is about... Oh, this is Scientology. Fair enough. Anything else we have in here? The Kojiki? Discobulus? I almost feel like we've, we've had almost all of these items. Shinto. This would teach us the art of Shinto, or one of the... Uh, it's a martial arts book, it looks like. Is Shinto itself a martial arts? Not even entirely sure. What's in the back of the store here? We've got a bunch more books... Um, anything that is a high-level book would be great. We already have the cooking book. I think anything in another color other than red is something we have read or we have with us. So everything else, though, the Sutras of Buddha. We could learn Buddhism, I think. Can you learn Buddhism? Or is it just a book you'd read about? Yeah, sure, we'll get religion. I'm sure in a Apocalypse, uh, some, having some kind of faith is uh, is going to help you keep keep it all together. The Tanakh? The Jewish Bible, okay. Other than this bayonet manual, I'm not sure what this is going to teach us, but this is the one of the only things I think that we don't have. Can the chemistry textbook teach you anything? Or does it have... Does it actually have recipes in it? Does some of these smaller books have recipes? I have no idea, to be honest with you. Um, anything else that might be of interest to us? I don't think so. That's crazy that we have so many books these days. All right, back outside, and we will return everything to our lovely vehicle. And I love that I can just come here and then just go, boop, and then I'll come organize it later. It's amazing. Right, so where to next? We could do a fire station. There's another doctor's office. I mean, a lot of these things we've been to, what do we actually need these days? What do we need? <laughs> There's just so much, other than fuel... Fuel to keep us going. Oh, yeah, the um, the biodiesel thing. Where the heck would we find the biodiesel recipe? That, that, I feel like that's going to be in some random person's house down the road. Can you set, like, an auto-alerting system? Oh, my God, every tile we're killing something. It's beautiful. I wonder if you can set an auto-alert that if something comes into view that is, you know, a, a specific item, it'll alert you to it. Do we have a gas station anywhere near here, by the way? Literally no gas stations in view. This is a large fire station. This, this I don't think it's a two-story. It's just a larger one. I think we might be able to squeeze by here. Nice. Don't mind us as we just come through here murdering everything. How are we doing on battery? It's a little bit lower, but I mean, it's still going to not be a threat at the moment. Oh my god, if we, if we stayed around and cleared out the entire town, maybe. God, that's so insane. Bless you, storage batteries. Bless you. So, a park, a tire shop. We don't really need tires. We might want to stop at the garage to see if there's any parts that we uh, would it might you know we, we might need for the uh, the the battle wagon later on. In terms of like long term you know support, I think I can just park out front, and this bad boy is going to keep the fire going. Such a beautiful it's such a beautiful thing. All right, we'll stop right here. Just gonna let go of the controls. Let uh, let the turret be the turret. I think we need an air jack system if we were able to find that. I don't believe we have a self-jacking system there. Welding and metallurgy sounds like something that might help out. This is for what? Becoming a better welder. That might be a high-level fabrication book. So we'll keep that. I'll also grab that reinforced headlight in case we need it. 
Uh, we no longer really need acetylene torches. I think we have pliers, but in case we don't, I'm going to grab them anyways. I have lost a couple of welding goggles here and there. Oh, the good old days of when all this stuff used to be so amazing. Now I'm just like, nah, nah. <laughs> nah, we can spare it. Nah, we don't need it. That's great. Mechanical pump, uh, filters would be great. Exacto might be nice for uh, dis uh, dissecting things, right? We shall see there. And I think that's pretty much it. Let's uh, open this thing up. Are you busy killing things, my lovely? Ge we really do have to name the uh, the vehicle. Like I, I feel like it's not going to be its own uh, vessel until we do. It's not going to be reach its true potential. Hey, if you're a bus stop or a bus station, oh, you don't have a self-filling gas tank, do you? Or a, a self-service diesel? Dang it! I was uh, I was hoping and praying. All right, where are we at? We are on this side of town now. There's still no sight of a gas station. I'm just going to go up and down roads for a bit, I think. I might even turn my turret off just to conserve some, en for some energy. <laughs> as, as satisfying as this is, we don't really need to be killing every single thing in the world. God, yes, we do. But but we don't we don't absolutely have to. Hey, I, I also should be checking out things like these buses and try to um, get whatever I can with... Um, well, now, of course, I need to have the vehicle back up again doing its uh, shoosting. What are you? Are you another Hulk zombie? Yeah, you are down in the road in front of me. Let's see how he does versus my uh, my ram. He actually held up pretty well before he went down. Hey, there's a luxury RV. I think this only uses um, diesel. Sorry, gasoline rather, not diesel. So after doing that little group, how many do we have? What's the damage here? Oh my God, seriously? It hasn't taken any damage? Oh. oh, happy days. Truly happy days. A little bit low in diesel, though. So I'll keep an eye out. We could just take this right on into Kent, since it is kind of a road that just goes straight east. Why don't we do that? And if we need to, if we need to come back, we might do that and just, you know, continue to expand the map. But I'm okay with just rolling on through. It's like trying to stop a cruise ship. It's just gonna it's gonna take a while, right? We're just gonna let the momentum carry us to Kent. There are some veggies up here, but I'm not sure if there's enough veggies to warrant me getting excited about it. They also yeah, they're gonna be rotted by now if they haven't been harvested. I but now that I'm in a nice vehicle, of course I'm seeing a crap ton of of things like a luxury RV, which is something I would have lost my mind over a while ago. Let me slam on the brakes here. I got a little bit too fast. There we go. This is just a semi-truck back, right? Like a cargo container? Yeah, truck trailer. I don't think this has fuel in it. Let me double check. Uh, before I do that, let me go ahead and turn on the turret for a minute. Protect me, turret squire. Okay, cool. Um, so no, you don't have any fuel tanks on you. Fair enough. Our battery's back charged. No, not really. It's uh, three hours until full. So it does take a lot to use a lot of the, the charged up, the um, the storage battery. But it does, um, hopefully it'll take, you know, charge up. If we just stop, if we go outside of town and park for a night, we'll be able to get full again. Stadium parking. I don't think I've encountered a stadium before. Let's take a look. So this is a giant stadium. Can we like drive in? No, we can't drive into the stadium. It's not like a four by or um, uh, what do you call that? A um, demolition derby type of place. I can just roll right in. We'll make it one though. I mean, we can always do that. Honestly, I know I shouldn't charge right on through this next pile of enemies, but oh gosh, do I want to? Let's do it. Let's see. Let's hope that we don't. Um, smash right through it. What the hell is a breather, by the way? It says breather. Is this to the southeast here? Oh my. Hello. A weird mass of immobile pink goo. It seems to breathe. So this must spawn from this artifact here. A fractal teardrop. I don't think I want to keep messing with... Um, Uh-oh. Uh, there's already a monster. that. Hopefully that's not a crashable error. Yeah, good. Oh my gosh. There's already a monster there. Wonderful. There is a vehicle in front of us that might use 
diesel. So let me slam on the brakes a, a little bit. Already, I'm having some, some spawning issues, it seems like. I don't think it's a problem, though. It must be trying to spawn in a horde somewhere. It's either that or it's the zombie parts. I'm not entirely sure. We do have a lot of parts here that we just um, destroyed. Okay, let me park up next to this vehicle. And we'll let go of the controls. How's our electronics doing? Or uh, the battery. Okay, that's not too bad. Ooh, we're getting a lot of error messages. Can I just do I to ignore this message in the future? Yeah. Okay, 3% uh, diesel. It's uh, 2.4 liters. Let me grab my hose and we'll do a bit of siphoning. More vehicles to siphon. We're trying to get as much gas as we can. I haven't really seen a gas station yet, so I'm still trying to pretty much pull anything I can from other vehicles, which is actually turning out to be quite a lot. We're at 63% on one tank, which, you know, we do have a lot of spare tanks, so I would love to fill every single tank up we have with something just for the long haul, but um, if we don't, that's okay. We'll survive. Had a couple of military friends over here. That looks like a single hop, uh, helicopter with uh, not much on it. It does have a turret, I think. But I'm not sure if that's a big deal or not. It is a mounted 134. Again, it, a lot of this, I assume, is going to need ballistics. And, you know, at this point, if we have an unlimited, to a point, uh, power supply, I don't think we need to concern ourselves as much with, especially the mounted ballistic weapons, right? Because we're going to be pretty much using this um, nonstop as, hello, I'm stuck, um, as the, the electric type of turret. I love that this vehicle can't... I mean, it, to be fair, it, I think the power on it is... It's underwhelming, right? We're not quite able to uh, to pull the vehicle as much as possible, so it's a little bit hard to get off-road. I should be keeping an eye out for a larger diesel engine, and honestly, maybe what I just passed behind me would have it. Shoot, maybe I should have gone back there. Um, let's loop back around in just a second. What are you? You're a public space. Gosh, what I wouldn't give right now for a gas station... I mean, we could always go back to Pulteney, of course. Let's slow down in case uh, this building has anything fun. Let's see, do you have anything down here? It's got... Oh, yep, sure enough, there we go. It has a katana on display. I, I told you it would have it. <laughs> Wasn't sure if it would ever uh, make me true or not. Let's break in here and grab this katana. It might be a fake katana, let's see. It is... This looks like a legit one. It's a rare sword, deadly against unarmored targets, still very effective against armor. So I think this one actually is a legit katana as opposed to sometimes you'll get one that is a uh, a fake basically all right so you meant to do this before i oh gosh don't shoot me turret of death do you have a v8 in your soul we've got what do we have up here this is still a v6 okay why aren't you shooting the fat zombie please shoot the fat zombie behind me all right onward and upward we go i'm trying to look for a larger scale uh engine if we see a sports car, I'm not sure what a sports car look like looks like, but I think if I just do my little X on here, I should be able to see if something is an electric sports car. So once we start seeing more electric vehicles, I'll keep an eye out for the sports car. We'll try to grab that electric engine. Not that I can do much with it yet. I do want to try the hybrid idea out, though. So a little bit of diesel, a little bit of electric, and see if that's something that we might be able to do. Uh, what are you? You're just going to be a normal old Humvee, I think. So you're going to probably have a V6. But we'll double check as we continue to murder everything ever. So we have a... Uh, you got a V8 diesel. Okay, we're going to grab the V8 diesel engine. We need a uh, tool with lifting of one. Bolt turning. Yeah, okay, so let me grab my foldable crane. I like how we can just focus on business, and the the vehicle is basically just is pr protecting against uh, protecting us against all things. Okay, there's my crane. Put in inventory crane here, and we'll also grab the yawn wrench, as per the use. Did someone tell me the toolbox should ha shouldn't the toolbox have a wrench at all times? Does the toolbox have a wrench? Did I just lose my mind? It does have bolt turning. Why did I think that it did not have that? I think I'm just going crazy. That's fine. That's pretty par for the course. So let's grab the truck alternator off you. Uh, no, I don't think I'm worried about that. Unless they come right up on my face. Tooth lifting or one. I didn't actually deploy. Oh, God. I didn't actually deploy this. Please don't destroy the vehicle that I'm trying to pull uh, loot from. Folded crane. Oh, God. What is, sh what is shooting there? Oh my god, it's literally destroying what we're trying to <laughs> what we're trying to use here. Uh, this is a little bit closer than I'd like. Let's see if we can remove the engine before it gets completely trashed. 
Did we get it? The vehicle part you were working on has gone. Oh my god, that's annoying. <laughs> Our own turret has defeated us. God, you stupid sexy turret. Are you, um... Is it damaged to the point where I can repair it, maybe? No, it's still here. V8 diesel engine. One tool with lifting nerve one. It's right behind us, right? I'm scared of my own freaking uh, tool right now. Or weapon. So V8 diesel engine. Okay, there we go. Maybe I moved too far away from it is what the problem might have been. All right, let's grab this. Uh, hello? That was not an engine. That was a, a battery. Did I hit the wrong thing? Probably. Okay, there's the engine. We'll just grab the whole stack for a second. All right, we're going to have to do this a little bit quickly. So we're going to do... Let's do this. We have to remove yawn old engine. We have to remove the old truck old... Hang on, 2.8 liter. Is this going to make a huge difference if it's... um? 4.5 liter is that it's, it's gonna mean it's gonna drink it's gonna eat more uh, fuel right it's gonna use more fuel at a faster rate so here's the hoping this doesn't kill us immediately so let's remove the alternator okay we're gonna remove the engine is the vehicle completely dead when this goes down okay so it's tucked in here right that's where we had it so install the v8 engine God, that's taking forever, that's true. It would, it would have taken a long time. And then we'll install the truck alternator. And I'll do a little bit of repair work here. It's going to need a better... Yeah, our torch is probably dead. Let's fold this back up. And we'll grab the crank. The crank. The crane. Drop that back off here in the back. Drop everything off. Well, not everything. We'll just drop... Um, crane off. We'll do a reload up here. I think the... Uh, Battery should all be ready to go. Did I drop my... Did I actually drop everything? No. Why can't I reload? I'm confused. Do I not have my welder on me? I don't actually know where it went to, but it wasn't quite on me. So, uh, re uh, reload that with the battery cell. Cool, got it. And we'll do the repair work on the engine. Is it faulty? Does it need to be mended? It doesn't say it's it's faulty anymore. So, okay, let's do this. Let's turn it up. So, what is it? Um, the power now, we are at 103. Okay. So, we're at, at a little bit better pull, right? We got a little bit more horsepower, so it's going to be able to pull us fa uh, farther. And running at 12 miles an hour... It's going to be seven hours until it's empty. So not great, right? I mean, is it any movement or is it just the specific speed? So four miles an hour is 7.5. Is it just going to always be the same amount no matter how fast you're going? Time for some science. 7.5% at 12 miles an hour. Let's uh, turn the... Well, step one, let's turn the headlights on so I don't smash into something. Okay, so we're up to 40 miles an hour, or 30. It's still 7.5. So the engine just consumes a certain amount of gas no matter how fast or slow you're going. That's still not horrible, horrible, especially if we start to fill up more and more tanks. And if we're ever able to find the um, hybrid engine or, or get a hybrid engine going on. So um, our mechanics is still not quite at 8 yet. Do we pretty much visit this town by and large? Kind of. There's still no gas station as far as I've seen. Let's go back over to Knox. I'll probably sleep in between, so we'll have a well, a bit of a daylight raid. Alright, this seems like a good point to put a cut in here. We'll have Sarah rest for the night. She'll do a little bit more food and water in the morning, and we'll continue our exploration of Knox and the surrounding area. Again, looking for fuel, looking for um, that larger electric engine. And as, as a last resort, we will and we can and will put up a gasoline engine if uh, if it lets us do that. We may have to use like a V12 though. I don't know what the power ratio is between diesel and gasoline. Uh, I still would love to find a way to make that biodiesel too, but I don't think we have the equipment right now for that. So thank you all so much for joining me and Sarah as she rampages through town and just pretty much kills everything in her way, which is just so very satisfying. Uh, battery's still doing great. It's going to be 12 hours until full. So I might wait around in the morning just to let her get some charges up. But yeah, we've got food. We've got water, 
We've got safety and, and tons of dangerous weapons. I am thrilled beyond belief. All right, friends, thank you so much. Until next time, take care.